the courage to speak. Emma had always been a quiet girl. Growing up in a small town, she avoided speaking in public, especially in English. The thought of mispronouncing a word or using the wrong tense made her stomach churn. In school, her teachers often encouraged her to participate in English conversations. But her responses were barely audible whispers. It wasn't that Emma didn't want to learn. She loved the idea of speaking English fluently. She dreamt of traveling the world, meeting new people, and hearing their stories. But every time she tried to speak, fear held her back. One evening, while browsing YouTube, Emma stumbled upon an interview with her favorite actor, Tom Hiddleston. His eloquence and charm mesmerized her. She thought, what if I could speak English like that? The idea seemed impossible, but it planted a seed in her mind. The next day, Emma stood in front of the mirror in her bedroom. She clutched her hairbrush like a microphone and began mimicking Tom's speech from the interview. At first, her voice wavered. The words felt awkward. Her pronunciation clumsy. But she persisted. Every day, Emma spent 15 minutes practicing in front of the mirror. She imitated her favorite actors repeating their lines from movies and interviews. She carefully studied their expressions, intonation, and gestures. The mirror became her audience, and the room her stage. One day, she decided to step it up a notch. She pretended to be giving a motivational speech to an imaginary crowd. At first, she stumbled over her words. But over time, her voice grew steadier. She began to feel a sense of accomplishment. Even if her only audience was her reflection, Emma's daily practice started to pay off in small ways. She noticed her pronunciation improving, and she became more comfortable forming sentences. She even began recording herself and listening back to pinpoint areas for improvement. One evening, her best friend Lily caught her practicing in front of the mirror. Instead of teasing her, Lily smiled. You're really improving. Emma, she said. Why don't we practice together? Emma hesitated but agreed. Speaking with Lily was different from speaking to a mirror. It was interactive. Unpredictable. At first, she struggled. But Lily's encouragement made her feel safe. They began practicing simple conversations. Like ordering coffee or asking for directions. Emma's big moment came one summer afternoon. While sitting on a bench in the town square, she overheard a tourist asking for directions in English. 
the man seemed lost, holding a map and looking around helplessly. Emma's heart raced. She knew she could help, but the thought of speaking to a stranger was terrifying. She clenched her fists, took a deep breath, and reminded herself of all her practice. It's now or never, she thought. Standing up, she approached the man. Excuse me, she said, her voice trembling. Can I help you? The tourist's face lit up. Oh, thank you. I'm looking for the train station. Emma pointed down the street, explaining the directions as best as she could. She stumbled over a word or two but managed to convey her message. The man thanked her and walked away with a smile. As he disappeared into the crowd, Emma felt an overwhelming sense of pride. She had done it. She had spoken English to a stranger and survived. More than that, she had succeeded. That encounter changed Emma's perspective. She realized that speaking English wasn't about being perfect, it was about communicating. Making mistakes was part of the process. Not something to fear. Emma began seeking out more opportunities to practice. She joined an English-speaking club in her town and started participating in their weekly discussions. She even signed up to give a short presentation about her favorite movie. Each step felt like climbing a mountain. But with every word she spoke, her confidence grew. The shy girl who once avoided speaking was now eager to share her thoughts. A year later, Emma found herself on a stage at her local community center, giving a speech about her journey to learning English. Her voice was strong, her words clear. She shared her story of practicing in front of a mirror, mimicking actors and finally finding the courage to speak to a stranger. The audience clapped as she finished, and Emma felt a deep sense of fulfillment. She had not only overcome her fear, but also inspired others to face their own challenges. Emma's journey wasn't over, there was still much to learn and many places to visit. But she had found her voice, and that made all the difference. Emma often reflected on how far she had come. The mirror that once bore witness to her hesitant words now reflected a confident speaker. She realized that courage wasn't about never feeling fear, it was about facing it. One conversation at a time. She carried this lesson with her. Knowing that every small step brought her closer to the world she once only dreamed of. And she was ready to speak her way into it.